Hello everybody, my name's Big Citrus and let's get into it. As someone who is semi-successful about talking about video games on the internet, I have been asked a lot of questions and one of those questions is usually, what game do you see being popular in 10 to 20 years from now? What game in like 20 years will parents be telling their kids, oh, you should have been there when I was your age to play this game because it, it was just the best. What is the game that you could see being a legitimate brand? What game do you see being immortal? And the obvious answer is Fortnite. There are a couple other games that I would include in this category that I see as literally always having an active fan base, literally always turning a huge profit. Today we are going to focus on the obvious answer, but there's not really an obvious reason as to why like most people think. I mean, sure, just look at the numbers of Fortnite. It makes a bajillion, majillion dollars. You could probably pay off the US's national accrued debt like five times over with each individual V-Buck that has been sold. You know what? Actually, I'm done. I'm tired of the US dollar and the Euro being the global standard. Genuinely, I'm going to start a petition in the description. Everyone, please sign up. We are going to make the V-Buck the universal currency. I kid, I kid. Something like that would never happen, right? <laughs> right? Uh, there's, there's been a lot of crazy stuff happening recently this week. And then I guess we'll see if you'll be able to buy like a new like Jeep Renegade with just V-Bucks or something. I don't know. But yes, like the thumbnail and the title of this video imply Fortnite is basically a game that at this point was immortal. I would literally say that up until about a year ago, I would not have said that Fortnite would last forever. But within these past few months, I have been thoroughly convinced. And like I said, it's not really for the reason you think. Follow all the stuff in my description for free V-Bucks and let's get into it. Really quickly as we get into this here, anyone who wants to be a future content creator, listen up and listen up good. If you're ever making a video or a TikTok or whatever, you have to pretend like you're not wasting the viewer's time because usually you kind of are. You have to make it seem like they're gaining something by engaging with your content. So sometimes at the start of these videos where I'm making a grand statement like why this game is dying or something else, blah, blah. I usually like to answer the question pretty directly near the start of the video. I usually give a pretty direct answer and then like, yeah, like 10% of the people will click off the video once they get that, but the other 90% will be like, mm, okay, well, I wanna see why that's the answer. I can't really do that for this video. Now, you might be looking at your screen right now and saying, Big Citrus, the reason Fortnite will literally never die is because look how much money it makes, look how popular it is with the younger audience, blah, 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 blah. And yes, those are all reasons that this game will be successful forever, but you gotta understand that kids grow up eventually. Think of how many things that you enjoyed when you were a kid that you were sure that you were certain when you were an adult, you would still be thinking about it and it would still be your favorite thing that aren't anymore. My friends and I, you know, we were obsessed with like any Mario game or anything Mario related and Beyblade stuff. I have still to this day not played Super Mario Odyssey. I don't know, let me know in the comments. Is it actually worth my time or is it just not as good as Galaxy or Sunshine? And I legitimately had not thought about Beyblade until like I went to go make this video just now, like a few years I haven't thought about. Look at another multiplayer shooter franchise that was literally the biggest thing in the world when we were kids, Halo, and look what has happened to it now. I think from this point on, we will never see an official Halo release ever again. If that doesn't make a game dead, I don't know what else does. My point is, just because it's insanely popular and it makes a lot of money is not the thing that makes Fortnite immortal. Those things definitely, yeah, contributing factor, but the real reason is Fortnite at this point is basically not a video game. Now, I know immediately what you're thinking I'm gonna say. I'm gonna talk about how the gameplay has been transformed so drastically at this point that it basically is a shadow of what it used to be and literally now feels like a Roblox League of Legends shooter where there's just random shit flying across the map and the screen. You have no idea what the fuck is going on. Gameplay wise, yeah, it's not really a shooter at this point, but that's not necessarily what I mean. Don't get me wrong. Playing it recently, I actually have to admit that honestly, I definitely get the appeal. You can kind of just turn your brain off and, you know, get some easy dubs. But the real reason that Fortnite will literally never die was kind of solidified for me within this past year. It's no secret that Epic Games, the company behind Fortnite, 
Fortnite has been under massive heat in the legal world. Like, this game is getting sued like every other day. And recently, they literally got in a huge legal dispute, huge lawsuit with Apple. Literally, Apple is the most profitable company in the world. And even though they didn't really win, they still came out on the other side looking good. And now, the Federal Trade Commission of the United States government issued them to pay $245 million. And now the FTC is using said money to redistribute refunds to people. They're redistributing that money to the millions and millions of parents who probably lost their mortgages on the amount of unauthorized credit card purchases usually that their children's have made trying to purchase, you know, the new banana skin or some shit. And even after that massive, massive L, that Epic Games took, they are still more successful than ever. When it comes to the whole microtransaction issue, a lot of gaming companies have gotten absolutely floored. I mean, does anyone remember what happened to Valve and the whole CSGO Lotto thing? Look what happened to loot boxes. We don't really have those in video games anymore. However, Epic Games and Fortnite are still standing at the top of profits in the gaming industry when it comes to microtransactions. Fortnite is no longer a video game. It is a legitimate brand at this point. It is basically the definition of too big to fail. And I think the biggest reason why Fortnite has secured its place among the immortal is because this game is just a giant advertisement. The, I think the biggest thing that has contributed to Fortnite's success in the past few years is the massive amount of properties, IPs, and real life celebrities that they have been able to collaborate with and the billions that have been made since. Everything on the internet is basically an advertisement nowadays. Most videos from YouTubers you kind of watch, including me, are advertisements in some way. I've been told if you like them, uh, you know, Keanu Reeves, Sigma Male, Walter White edits, you know, with the cool, some cool rap funk music in the background or something. I I've been told that you'll really like Big Citrus's new album, Overpowered and Broken. Go stream it on all streaming platforms now. Fortnite is now just a clusterfuck of multiple billion and million dollar IPs just stacked on top of each other like the most disgusting pancakes you've ever seen. I remember this one game specifically that I came back on. I'm playing Fortnite with my friends, you know, I just bought the John Cena skin, so you know, I'm loading in as John Cena. I drop in and everything. I'm doing the you can't see me emote to everyone that I kill with my submachine gun. But then I hear some noises coming downstairs in the building I'm in, and they are coming fast. Like, I don't have enough time to react. Goku and Spider-Man come up the stairs, and literally both of them have shotguns, and they double pump me in my ass. So me, John Cena, I'm dead. And then my friend, who's literally just a bunch of, like, boba balls stacked on top of one another, comes to, you know, get my card, and they revive me. We're doing pretty well. You know, I get an RPG, and then I take out a full squad. You know, I take down Mr. Beast, Ariana Grande, and Rick from Rick and Morty. Rest in peace. In one shot, it is it is completely epic, right? And then, all of a sudden, we're doing pretty well. Final zone is closing in. You know, we're all eating our yummy, yummy fish and everything. You know, everything's normal. You know, I saw Harley Quinn hitting the gritty. And then, I hear the loudest noise in the world. Out of nowhere, I hear someone charge up fucking one for all from My Hero Academia, and it's literally Naruto. It's not even the same anime. And from behind, we get ass blasted like you have never seen before. We all get completely one-shotted, thrown off the cliff into the storm, and then immediately after, immediately, immediately after we die, he starts doing Gangnam Style. And the fact that everything I just said in that little spiel was a hundred percent true. None of it was a lie. I, I, I didn't make it up. I, I didn't even exaggerate any part of it for the video. That was a real game of Fortnite that happened. I, I described it word for word. John Cena got one for all by Naruto. That's how I died. Look, it, it's not real. I, I genuinely am having... I'm not even joking. Every time I play Fortnite now, it feels like a fucking fever dream. But that's the fun. I think that's why people play it. Bro, you know how many Ariana Grande stands I knew when that skin came out? They didn't even, like, play Fortnite or video games that much. They just logged onto the Fortnite to buy the Ariana skin because they stand. Do you know the amount of Valorant players who have anime profile pics that literally hopped on Fortnite just to buy Sasuke? Do you know? Do you know? 
Look, we all know how subliminal advertising works. It's, it's subconscious. Even if you're not in the mood for candy or you're not even hungry, you see a commercial for Snickers, you're gonna be like, damn, I haven't had a Snickers. And then next time you'll be at the convenience store or whatever, you're gonna see one and be like, hmm, me kind of want to buy, purchase with Mauni. It, it just, it just, it just gets in your brain. And that's what Fortnite does. You wanna know what I did? The second after I bought that John Cena skin and after that match ended and I got off Fortnite for the night, I watched a pretty decent amount of old John Cena matches on WWE's YouTube page because I was bored. Therefore, they got more revenue. It is even getting to the point where music labels are paying Fortnite to get their songs in the game. Like there's a car you can drive that has a radio and everything. There were artists that I had literally never heard of before on this radio, but then you have people like Denzel Curry on this radio. Radio. His label is literally paying motherfuckers in Fortnite can hear this shit like it, it's getting to the point Epic Games right now is the only company that these brands I feel legitimately trust with their product because they have seen how good Fortnite is with their marketing every time There's a new season every time there's a new battle pass every time there's a new skin collection They make it feel like an event Fortnite whatever you want to say about them whatever you want to say about the game it are the masters of the event. They've basically pioneered like in-game events, for examples. And even though the newest one I've heard was kind of trash, I, I didn't participate in it. It still got like a bajillion views on like all live streaming platforms when it came out. And it's immediately an advertisement. There's the Hulk. There's the Witcher. There's Mr. B and it gets you excited. That is what it does. I never thought we'd get a Dragon Ball Z crossover for like anything because they just don't like to do that. Now that we've gotten something like Dragon Ball Z, which like they never do any crossovers. Now that we've gotten Goku in Fortnite, I legitimately think there's no ceiling now. I think nothing is too sacred. Literally the next season's battle pass is gonna be like tier 20, Maya Angelou, tier 40, Barack Obama, tier 60, Seinfeld. And tier 100 is gonna be like Elvis Presley and you're gonna be able to like customize like, oh, is he like skinny? Like, you know, like, like Jailhouse Rock Elvis, or is he going to be like fat, bloated Hawaii Elvis? When there is an audience that has this many young fans, companies will literally do whatever to get their product inside of it. They will suck some dirty, disgusting toes for even 10 seconds of their product being showcased in it. And at this point, Fortnite is leagues ahead of literally every other video game in its field. Like, yeah, as a battle royale, is it anywhere near as good as a game like Apex Legends? Absolutely not, not even close. But how many crossover skins have there been in Apex? Can you play as Iron Man in Apex and shoot the Joker? I don't think so. And kids are so invested in it. At this point with the properties they've stacked up, it's only going to draw in more companies to get invested in Fortnite and do even more crossovers with them. And due to that just amount of funding, how much money that brings in alone, Fortnite is probably gonna be afloat for at least another 10 years. Because even when a lot of their player base has grown up and is on to, you know, the new 3D V VR anime hentai game that's sweeping the market. You know, they're gonna add like Denji and Power from Chainsaw Man, and they'll finally add Tracer from Overwatch into Fortnite, which will, you know, at that point be considered a retro classic video game, and Denji and Power from Chainsaw Man, which at that point will be considered a retro classic anime. And at least half of the people who see that and have fond memories of those things as children are gonna be like, you know what? I think it's time I load into Fortnite and I do the floss on some eight year olds. At this point, I'm not quite sure there's a lawsuit that Epic Games can't survive. So, you know I'm right. Fortnite could literally turn into a top-down RTS game, and I guarantee you it'll still be more popular than your favorite video game of all time ever has a chance of being. I know that's the case for me. And hopefully for those who are doubting me, in 2032, when, you know, there's someone running for president and as, you know, a sponsorship for their campaign, they get themselves into Fortnite as a skin, hopefully you'll remember this video and be like, oh yeah, Big Citrus was right. If I'm making it sound like I like being right about things, it's because I usually am. And yes, it vindicates me a lot. I've been Big Citrus and... Have a damn good one.